Hi, welcome back. In this episode, let's see how to make Halim in an instant pot. Halim is a stew popular in the Middle East and Indian subcontinent. It is made of meat, lentils and wheat. It's full of gentle spices and warm comfort. It's a Hyderabadi favorite. This is often made during the holy month of Ramadan. Let's take a quick look at the ingredients. If you do not have some of these ingredients, it's, that's perfectly fine. You can get a Shan Halim mix in an Indian store or on Amazon. 1 teaspoon Shai Jeera 1 teaspoon peppercorns 1 teaspoon green cardamom 1 teaspoon Ilachi 2 small sticks of cardamom Now let's look at the lentils 2 tablespoons moong dal 2 tablespoons urad dal 2 tablespoons tuar dal 2 tablespoons chana dal 3 tablespoons of whole wheat If you don't have wheat, you can substitute this with dahlia 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds And we'll also need half an onion sliced 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste bunch of mint leaves, 5 to 6 green chilli, 3 tablespoons of ghee and 2 pounds of goat meat. Ideally the meat should come from the thigh section or the rib section. It would taste amazing with the bone in meat. And we'll also need 1 cup of yogurt. The first step is to grind the garam masalas and the lentils and wheat together into a fine powder. This is a good consistency. Now let's take a quick look at the IP settings. Turn on saute mode and wait for a minute for the inner pot to heat up. Once the pot is hot, add ghee. Wait for a minute for the ghee to heat up. Once the ghee is hot, add onions. You really don't have to saute or cook any of these ingredients. It's just dumping all the ingredients and pressure cooking it. Add green chilli. Add ginger garlic paste. Add the meat. And coat this well. Add yogurt. Add salt. Add the lentil and garam masala powder. Give it a quick stir. Add around 8 cups of water. This is the time where you deglaze the pot and also check for salt. Now close the lid and turn off saute mode. Turn on manual and set it to 1 hour. And make sure the whistle is in sealing mode. I have let the pressure release naturally. Now I'm going to open the lid. And after almost an hour of cooking, I see that the meat is completely done. So I'm going to use a potato smasher to blend this well. Meat separating from the bone. I'll not be turning on saute mode at this point because you'll not be able to mash this meat well. So after you complete mashing, that's when you start the saute mode. In a traditional way of making halim, we usually stew the meat for almost 12 hours. An instant pot makes it super easy 
and you can make this recipe within two hours. So I'm not going to use the hand blender because hand blender will spoil the consistency. It needs to be a little fibery and chunky. If you want, you can scoop the pieces out, put it in a separate bowl, mash it and then put the meat back. But this works fine. So spend around 10 to 15 minutes mashing the meat. So you can see that it's come to a nice consistency. You can see the st strings of meat. This will give it a good chewy consistency. And this is how I like my haleem to be. So I'm gonna stop it at this. At this point, I'm gonna turn on saute mode. Make sure your saute temperature is adjusted to low. And now add a cup of fried onions. Finely chopped coriander leaves. Finely chopped mint leaves. I took a bunch of each. These are optional. Give it a quick stir and let this saute for another 20 minutes. This is still at a watery consistency so I'm gonna saute it for another 20 minutes to thicken this up and make it more viscous. Um, keep stirring occasionally to avoid burning at the bottom and also make sure you're at a safe distance because sauteing this is gonna splatter a little. Still a little runny, so I'm gonna leave it for another five more minutes. It's almost there. You can see the ghee separating from the meat and it's on the surface. And this is almost done and it's at a good consistency. This is at a good consistency. You can see it's very stringy. So I'm gonna turn off the instant pot at this point and it's ready to be served. Turn off sauté mode.